Good morning everyone and welcome to our morning inspiration. It's another beautiful Sunday morning, February 11, 2024. I hope that you're all doing okay. I hope that you had a good night's rest and that you are ready to take on this day. It's a new week and the first day of the week has begun and I know that this week it will come with its challenges but I know that with God on your side you will do just fine. Now our reading today it comes to us from Psalms 34. We will read from verse 1 to 8 and it says I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. 2. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. 3. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. 5. They look unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. 8. And last says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy word. And we are thankful for this awesome privilege to share in this experience. Now, the reading this morning is a psalm of praise and a psalm of thanksgiving and the servant of the Lord said he will bless the Lord at all times and that his praise will always be in his mouth now we should be able to say the same in fact when we rise up in the morning we should give God praise because we are alive when we go to our bed in the night we should give God praise because he took us throughout the day he provided for us and so we have much reason to give God thanks and to praise his holy name we should boast about God we should be excited when it comes on to God because God is always there for us God protect us he provides he sustain he gives health and he gives strength god has never forsaken you and i and so we have so much reason and that is why we must magnify the lord let the world see that we serve a living god let us exalt his name let us praise his name together when we go to the sanctuary even to worship let us worship with joyful sound let us lift our voice and our hearts in thanksgiving and praise to him whenever we are having our morning and evening devotion when we are spending time in worship let us be excited let us show the lord that we are excited about him don't put on any show just be ourself show god that we value what he did for us and what he's doing for us and will do for us we need to show him that we love him we need to seek the lord because the lord says that call upon me and i will answer the saying goes we need to seek a friend before we need a friend and so let us not wait only until trouble come to seek the lord Yes, the Lord wants us to call upon him when we are in trouble, but he also wants us to call upon him when we are not in trouble. Call upon him all the time. He's just waiting and yearning for us to seek his face. He's ready to help us and to come to our rescue. Let us look to him. Let us not be ashamed to praise God because what God has done too much for us 
for us to be quiet. We need to magnify his name, right? And I know, you know, sometimes we are going through experience and, you know, we cry unto God. God, hear the prayers of those who are afflicted. He's not silent. He's not deaf to their crying. And he, in his own time, will deliver you. So whatever it is that you may be going through right now, whatever it is that is stressing you out, whatever it is on your mind, whatever your family is experiencing, just cry unto God because He hears and He answers and He's able to rescue us from all our trouble. He can deliver you, friends. Trust in Him. And he goes on to tell us that the angel of the Lord encampeth around those who fear him, those who call upon him, those who trust him. So all of us, we have angels standing around us. We have our guardian angels plus extra angels coming to our rescue. We have heaven army at our disposal and the captain of the host of heaven's army which is jesus christ isn't that a beautiful thing what do you need to be afraid of what more do you need what more do i need to give god thanks for there's too much there's many things and so let us not be quiet about it friends let us just praise god and you know i know sometimes we we are in a funk because we are not tasting the right stuff man we are not tasting to see that the lord is good we need to taste and see that the lord is good and especially for those who are not yet a part of the family of faith you need to come and taste and see that god is good you can't experience the awesomeness of god by standing on the outside and on the sideline looking in you need to come and experience him he is there God is the one that is protecting you. And so he wants you to come. He invites you. And so let us all come together as one and magnify the Lord together. Let us worship the Lord together, friends. God is too good to us for us not to give him thanks. And so as we think about this reading this morning, may a song of praise be on our lips. And may we keep his word in our hearts. May we be reminded constantly of his goodness towards us. And may it motivate us to push forward and to look up and to look to him from where our redemption draw at night. May God continue to bless you and may God continue to keep you as you seek to walk in the righteousness of Christ. God bless you my friends. And have a wonderful day. Amen.